We're here with uh, Fianna Fáil County Councillor John Paul Feely. Can you give us your assessment of this election, please? The election, I suppose, has been dire nationally. Um, as the lead party in opposition, we've managed to reduce our number of TDs in the incoming doll, and we've managed to reduce our uh, overall percentage performance, which is an extraordinary result. Um, given the fact that Finnegan have been in government in one form or another for nine years, um, it's uh, a damning indictment of party leadership, um, and it is baffling uh, to hear Leader Fianna Fáil talking about forming a government at the moment, uh, as he has been doing on the media yesterday and today. Um, I think that if he had any decency, he would have stepped aside at this stage, uh, because Fianna Fáil needs. Uh, a clear out at leadership level and at organisation level in terms of the Secretary General um, and, and to all of those who have been allegedly in charge of party strategy over recent years. There's a couple of sore moments I understand. Um, one of the Ardesh, maybe two actually, where, where, um, where motions have been passed and effectively. Well, I suppose we, we have um, taken our membership for granted over the years. That's, uh, I think, very few people in the party could deny that. Um, and we have offered the Irish people very little in this general election. We have a bland front bench, um, who, and I'm saying this as a Fianna Fáil councillor, I would be hard put to name more than three or four of them and ascribe their correct area of responsibility. Um, and you can't blame the people for rejecting us, even as the lead party in opposition. And I think we now need to recognise that people have voted in substantial numbers for other parties. Sinn Féin have had an excellent election. I congratulate them on their performance. Um, and we need to facilitate the formation of an alternative government by stepping aside and allowing, um, by whatever means necessary, um, Sinn Féin to lead the formation of a government. If you mentioned a lot of soul-searching needs to be done, but where, where do you shape, where does uh, where do Fianna Fáil go from here? Well, I think when you look at the local elections, Fianna Fáil performs very well across the country, and it's hard to believe that that is only a few months ago. And I think that's down to having effective candidates on the ground, working in their communities, being effective voices for their communities across the country, um, and giving leadership in those communities. We haven't done that at national level for the last number of years. We have, uh, as far as I can see, our leadership strategy has been to play a cute game, to play a long game, um, leave Fine Gael there for as long as possible and uh, hope that we will accidentally fall into power by being uh, the alternative to Fine Gael. But people have seen through that. People have seen that Michael Martin is basically Fine Gael light. And wow. uh, it's, it's time for him to find um, an alternative to where he is at the moment. Um, he is one of the few ministers who are there since the very earliest days of the Bertie Ahern era. That's too long for anybody, and it's time for, for change in Fianna Fáil. Um, Say, so we talked about the general election in five years' time. Uh, have you considered it? Would you consider it? There'll be a local election before that. There will, yeah. So we have to deal with the local election first. Um, but politics Would is Would you like no to be part of the change, the change of face of this party nationally? Well, the changing face of the party nationally has been elected in the last couple of hours and will be elected in the next. And I'm delighted to see people like Jim Callaghan being, being, Jim O'Callaghan being returned to the doll. I'm delighted to see Cahill Crow uh, elected in, in Clare. And just one example, which I think sums up beautifully uh, the lacking in Fianna Fáil. Cahill Crow was the mayor of Clare. He called out the government um, in relation to the commemoration of the Black and Tans and the RIC, etc. Micheál Martin on that couldn't even show leadership on that very small issue. He got up on the fence and added to the splinters in his backside. He couldn't come out and say, no, we shouldn't do that, it's wrong. On those small things he couldn't show leadership, and by God he's failed on the big things.